Hey, Paisados! Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Void. I'm Player 1. I'm Player 2. And God, we look cool. And welcome back to Xenoblada Chronicles. Yes. Last time, we have reached Alcamo. And we helped uh, this little errand they had us do. And Please I, set yeah. my humble gratitude for rescuing the repair worker. Just be tired. Tired, please feel free to come. Feel free to welcome to rest. I went. Uh, yeah. Yes. We also met Alvis. He's here. He's being a little... Whoa. And in between episodes, I registered everyone on the affinity chart. Because I do. Except for one. There's one person who is out of my range, because I walk there and Shulk's like, We shouldn't go there just yet. Everyone's gathered outside. How come we didn't get invited? It looks like some kind of ceremony. And beloved subjects, Saurian Antiqua speaks. I have been your emperor for little more than 20 years. But today I stand before you in celebration. So that's the High Entia Emperor, Saurian Antiqua. I will remain your emperor for years to come. But now is the time to announce my successor. May I introduce your crown princess? And there's the lady herself. Melia Antiqua. It's... it's her. She's... she's a princess. Took you long enough. Uh, her silver spoon accent was a clue. But royalty? I think it's quite right. My daughter. Melia Antiqua will depart immediately to face the tomb. She will seek the approval of our ancestors and become your crown princess. What armor is she wearing? Not an armor, it's just uh, like some garbs and then the mask. I don't get the mask. Oh, damn. <sighs> you sneaky bitch. The people are fickle. No mask can hide that girl's contaminated blood. First consort, all the pieces are in place. Say the word, and the captive Homs shall be no more. The savage who discovers fire remains a savage. Disappointed or not, his highness will turn a blind eye to their fate. And their removal oh. will deprive Melia of some powerful allies. As you say. to endure the contamination of our bloodline by perpetuating this wretched tradition of a high entia first consort and a hong second consort for how long must i suffer these homs you racist ass Do your bitch duty, Tyrea. as you wish My mother sucks. <laughs> Melia. I don't doubt that was Melia. But why the mask? I don't know. But she's different from the other Hyentia. How do you mean? 
Melly not like other bird people. Melly like hom hom friends. You might be right. But there are things at play here we can't understand. Wait a minute. Oi! You'll give a homs a heart attack shouting like that. We've got no time to lose. Melia needs our help. Again? You had another vision, didn't you? What did you see? Out with it already! Oh, shit. Excuse me. They have guns. We ordered room service an hour ago. Yeah. Yeah. I'm afraid you've already eaten your last meal. No, I think those are... stabbies. They look like guns. Oh, they look like energy blades from Halo. But, you I know, think, more solid. I think they're, they're stabbies. Oh. Mm. We should have switched from Shulk. The Monado can't hurt people. You see how you're doing one damage? You gotta rely on our party. Thankfully, we had done that. Shulkin Nun Man now green. I think that's our first green for Dunban. Luckily for us, they aren't uh, exactly strong. Yeah. Are they all female? Oh. Headshot. Bang. Who are these guys? Shulk. These are inquisitors. What is this? More of them! Wait. This is His Highness Callion, brother to Her Highness Melia. Melia's brother? Do not concern yourself, Your Highness. The matter appears to have been resolved. Seer Alvis? I foresaw the danger. I rushed here, but seem to have missed the fun. They do not look like mere thieves. I am presuming they are inquisitors of the Bionite Order. A group of assassins long devoted to the Imperial family. Ridiculous. The Bionite Order are a mere myth. The Order existed before records began. I, like many others, believed they had long since died out. Mm. Yet here they are before us. Is oh. Father aware of this? I suspect he knows very little. He may not even be aware of their existence. They live amongst the shadows, never revealing their true faces. But then why would explain why they would attack these people? Why would she have access to them then? Because they're racist. Oh, they, they see the like-minded ones and then seek them out. There's no way. Callian, you have to admit it. Melia is in danger. Your mother is racist. She'll be killed at an altar if we don't find her soon. 
killed? How can you be so sure? Shulk and I share the same gift. Another seer? Which would mean that you can see the future? That's why we have to find her. Now. Mm-hmm. Do I need to switch from Shulk? No, that was our only human fight for right now. Your there are no highness. humans. As agreed, you will face the ritual alone. I thank you for escorting me. We wish you a safe return. As history has proven, all those who stake claim to the throne without merit will spend eternity as fallen spirits. I must prove my worth as the next ruler, and I am no less prepared to sacrifice my life than those that have fallen before me. Most wise, your highness. Watch your back, your highness. Why do you talk like that? You sneaky bitch. Dummy mommy death. Personally, I wouldn't. Coward. Coward, no. I just have standards. Those who enter the tomb must do so alone. Well, she entered the tomb first, we just followed in after her. Her life or death is in the hands of fate. Those not worthy of the throne are exactly that. You can't seriously think that. This is your sister. This is Melia. Easy ride. The Dumban. This ritual holds a special significance. It is wrong for us to interfere. I don't like it. But am I right in saying that the rules of this ritual affect only Hyentia? Oh, oh, oh. If some strange homes happen to get involved, it wouldn't cause a problem. Oh. Or is there some rule that prohibits Homs from entering the tomb? No. I suppose Dun not. man so smart. Then look at it this way. I don't need to know how big a deal this ritual is to your people. What I do know is that your sister's life is at stake. Cut us a break, and we'll save her. <laughs> My name is Dunban. I'm sort of the protector of this Mekon bashing band of Homs. Dunban, I know you. At the Battle of Sword Valley, you held back an entire wave of Mekon with the Monado. You know a lot about a battle you never showed up to. Ooh. My apologies. We do not concern ourselves with the wars of others, <clears throat> be it against the Mekon or otherwise. I was only joking. You had your reasons. I can see that with all these defense systems, you don't really need to fight. Then it is decided. You can reach the tomb by transporter from the center gate. Her Highness has already entered. Shulk, you should hurry. Right. I'm going to run as fast as I can. Thankfully. Oh, hey, Elvis. Elvis gets to join our game. No, 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 no. He's a guest. Who got a skill? Oh wait, no, that's Shulkin. Done, Ben. Ah. Yep, skill ones. Let's see here. Huh? My HP when restoring a rotting party member. Physical defense. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then show. Okay. Increase agility when HP is at half. Reduces weight of equipment. Increase AP. That's perfect for Charlotte.
Oh yeah, good. I would guess movement speed? coins to equip any more for him. Alright, so, luckily, I know exactly how we get to the tomb. It's raining. Ooh, cool. That's, uh, ominous. So, normally, you'd have to do this long trek to get there. I already did the trek. Oh? We have fast travel points. Because while I was looking for all the high entia to put into the chart, I also had to walk all of the hovering reefs to um to get to one. So I did. Also, I accepted all the generic quests. So that's an interesting I did. Can I change up the party a little bit? If you want. It's to the left. No. Zoom out. It's right here. What the hell is that? Our point of interest. How Oh, right. Okay, yeah, no. Yeah, this is the, uh, the tomb. The trek I did was, is for later on. This is the tomb. Defensive measures prevent intruders from entering. You will have to circumvent these to move within the tomb. One thing before we enter. Alvis, you can see the future like me. I am from a long line of seers dedicated to serving the Imperial family. Is he a high end tier? No. My visions help to protect what is he? the Empire. What is he indeed? I don't think he's a home. But you're a Homs. Yes. But that is for another time. He is a home. My ancestry is not easily explained. And my ability to see the future is equally complicated. Mm. You might say, I have my own ritual. Mm. Is it not the same for you? <laughs> no. My visions appear suddenly, without warning. At first, they're obscure. Then, as it gets closer to the event, I start to understand. It seems you possess a power greater than I. I still have not seen any danger befall Her Highness. Not much use as a seer then, are you? <laughs> Nothing passes you by, does it? Now you see why I asked for your help. What a lucky coincidence that I happened to see you in danger. A coincidence? You know, damn well it's not a coincidence. But I've seen you use the Monado. The Monado has been passed down the Imperial line for generations. The sword of the Bionis. It is compelled to do its master's bidding. Magnified greatly, it has the power to control the very fabric of our world. Ether. Control the ether, and your will is made reality. I willed it, and it happened. That is all. Perhaps due to that power, the High Entia sealed away the Monado for centuries. Eventually, it found its way into the hands of the Homs, and then you, Shulk. A coincidence, or something more? You must discover this yourself, for you are the 
the one who wields the Monado. The Bionis is stirring. I guess that means it's not dead. So, uh, first, we got a little section. Just Melia. Oh, she has skill, though. Extends poison duration. I Do we have a move that does poison? Looks. What new move did we get? Oh, Starlight Kick. Starlight Kick is for, um, after Spear Break, Forces Topple. Alright. I don't know if you have Spear Break enabled. I don't know. You can get rid of Healing Gift. And then, um, you can choose one of the ones to get rid of, since we have four of them. If you look at Melia doing her idle animations, you can actually see her practicing Starlight Kick. It is pretty funny. She like charges up, then does a kick and then falls on her ass. Also, yes, for story reasons, we still cannot change her headpiece. Ether up twos. The main thing is ether, so. Get past that. It's that, so cold. Uh, yeah. There are remnants of ancient spirits in here. This is no ordinary chill. As I explained before, Dunban, the defense systems are designed to prevent uninvited. Well, what does this do? Don't touch.
God damn it, Ricky. Ricky? Ryan did that. What? No, Ryan can do no wrong, just oops. He just oops? Just oops. We know how to use Melia, thank you. Macro passion. We can't do gem crafting anymore. Oh, uh, shit. I guess Shulk has the portable machine. So yes, the tomb has its own things too. Oh, I still need one thing there. Ha ha ha. The ha ha ha. Just those, those three for right now. This guy's gonna get shit on. I kicked him and he died. Mm hmm. Still about as good as I'm going to get with her. I wonder what's down there. Oh, that's where they dropped. Mm hmm. I'm gonna go meet my friends. My strength is fading. I wonder if I am surprised I managed to land. I wonder if there's some way you can level Melia up high enough to where she has enough health to survive that drop. Then I wonder what would happen. I'm genuinely surprised I managed to make it there. That looked kind of funny. Well, I still got, I don't have to fight that man again. That's the nicest looking of her staffs, but none of her staffs really look that cool. No, we need to get the later ones. There's gonna be a man here. Many men. I even forgot this part existed when I egged you to use Melia, but I'm glad I did. Me, 
That was fast. We are level 44 and they're like level 32, so... I didn't even mean to kill the second guy yet. She looks cute in this outfit. I like it. Ceremony hall? Oh, she got a skin. Oh, this is where she dies! But that's not the thing Shulk saw consume her. Right. Who puts a great big hole somewhere like that? As I explained, it's a defense mechanism. What a mess, Ryan. <coughs> Friend, not clever touching button. <sighs> I'm with these guys, Ryan. How was I supposed to know that was going to happen? What about your visions, eh? You think the two of you could come up with something? You know it doesn't work like that. It would have been useful, yes. Pair of fortune-telling frauds. You got us into this mess. And it's not the first time either. Oh. Hmm, Ricky, agree with Shulk. Why is it my fault all of a sudden? It, this it... time it is your fault. Precisely. Well... Uh... Be thankful that we are all alive. I suggest greater care next time. Our journey will be longer, but we can still make our way deeper into the tomb. Okay. We can't waste another second. Melia needs us. Can I... Wait, that... Shek's level's gotta be like, what? 34 at most? The tomb robber pool. It's Team Bungfuck! Oh, it is. And I think with that, we'll end it there. Get the shiny. I've been player one. I'm player two. And we'll see you next time when we get Melia out this funky ass tomb. Bye bye. Bye.